Hey, what is up guys, Total War Chaos here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best weapons and armor of every type with locations provided in Balinard. So, something to keep in mind of is that it will depend on the in-game days played and certain workshops, if you purchase a different workshop in these certain cities, it will change the production of their weaponry or armory, which will not be the same. So, uh, there are also some other variables like for example NPC buying out the weaponry or the city just gone into siege or something they have no supplies so they're not making any weaponry etc so with this in mind let's get right into it so coming right up is the heavy execution axe for the two handed axe weaponry type uh, it is a absolute monster of a weaponry it is probably the best weapon I've ever used in battle Lords so far so you can find this weapon generally in the southern area uh, in particular in the Koas city so it is a weapon with a swing speed of 76, swing damage 133, a length of 138 and handling of 69. This weapon is an absolute monster. If you never had a triple kill with one swing, this weapon will let you experience that juiciness. You can also find this weapon in the region Hassan Falk. Coming up next for the two-handed polearm would be in the region Marunev. It is called the Ronphilia. It is without a doubt the best two-handed polearm there is in the game. It has a swing speed of 69 with a swing damage of 169. Its length is 203 and it has handling of 59. Keep in mind that this weapon only started showing up in my games after around 400 in-game days played. Coming up next for the two-handed sword would be False. It is located in the region Marunev, same again as the Ronphilia, it has a swing speed of 102, swing damage of 129, length of 111, and a handling of 91. Keep in mind, same again, this weapon only started showing up after around 400 in-game days played, so you shouldn't expect this weapon to show up too early on into your gameplay. So next is the one-handed sword, which can be located in the Koyas region, same again as the heavy execution axe. Um, I tried really hard to look for this one, I went to every region. Uh, it was a it was a big struggle. This is the best 100 sword I could find from anywhere. And again, I'm sure this is scaling with the in-game days as well. You will not find this period uh, this weapon early on into your gameplay. Maybe around 300 days or so, you will start finding this sword. So it has a swing speed of 89, swing damage 81, thrust speed 91 with a thrust damage of 42. Its length is 110 and handling 86. Next is the one-handed axe, which can be found in Sabia. I tried really hard to look for this one in particular. I couldn't find many one-handed axes anywhere else, but I can only find it in Sabia. It is called the Northern Rectangular Bitted Axe. It pretty much has the exact same stats as the best uh, one-handed axe that I could ever find, uh, even using cheats. It is pretty much equivalent to the best axe there is in terms of for one-handed. So next is the one-handed mace. I think it is a pretty common weapon. It's not that rare compared to the other ones. It can be found mostly in the Imperial regions. Uh, in particular, I found it in Lageta, Ortizia, and Phaikion. It is called the Cataphract Mace. It has a swing speed of 81, swing damage of 79, a length of 75 with a handling of 89. Next for the best shield available in the game is called the Steel Round Shield. It is found in the Eastern region in general. I found it particularly in the cities called Baltican, Macab, and Old Dog. So it is called the Steel Round Shield. Uh, it has a hit points of 580 and a speed of 82. There's one thing that you might be concerned is that it won't cover the entire body, meaning it won't be a good infantry shield if the archers aim for their feet. Other than that concern, this is without a doubt the best possible shield you can upgrade for yourself. So next, for the best lance available in the game, it is not as rare as the other weapons, just like the Imperial Mace. Um, it can generally be found in the eastern region. Uh, in particular, I found it in Chikland, Akalat, and Odok. So it is called the Eastern Noble Lance. It has a thrust speed of 81, thrust damage of 39, and a length of 200 with a handling of 59. Next, for the best spear in the game, similar to the best lance, it is located around in the eastern region. Uh, it can be found in regions like Akalat or Odok. It is called the Thin Fine Steel Hewing Spear. So it has a thrust speed of 87, thrust damage of 38, a length of 219 with a handling of 63. So next is the best available bow in the game. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky because it's called the Noble Longbow. But it never showed up until around 1000 of in-game days played. And then it started appearing in my games very frequently. 
uh, in a lot of regions and it's not really that rare but if you have less than 1000 days um, then it probably will never show up unless you marry uh, get a wife and then steal the longbow of them instead which is a little bit scummy but it is another way of doing it so this weapon can be found in Charis uh, and many different regions as well I'm gonna make sure I put the captions on the screen with different regions of this showing up so it has a speed of 91 a damage of 95 accuracy of 99 and a missile speed of 85 next is the southern throwing daggers um, it is the best available throwing daggers that I found so far um, it is actually quite common, it's not that rare at all, you can find it in many different regions. So one particular region I found is in Asuka. And also I'll make sure I put in captions the other different regions that I found this dagger in. So it has a weapon length of 43, damage uh, 30, missile speed 32, accuracy of 95, and stack amount is 3. Next is the best throwing weapon in the game, which is the Javelin. Uh, it can be found in Raz, Sanala, and Quas. Um, it's called the J Raid. Uh, it has a weapon length of 113, damage 121, missile speed of 28, accuracy of 95, and the stack amount is 5. Next is the Throwing Axe, which can be found in the region Ascar. And I want to make sure, same again, I'm going to put it in the captions um, the different regions that I found this in because there was a there was many regions that I found this weapon in. It is called the Southern Throwing Axe. It has a weapon length of 43, a damage of 70, missile speed of 27, accuracy of 93, and stack amount is 3. Next, for the best body armor in the game, I found uh, two pieces of armor. Uh, it took me a really long time to find. It was really rare to... It was really hard to find them. Uh, most armor never went up and above 50 armor rating. So, one is in Rotel. It is called Legionary Mail, and another one is in Pancanic. I will show you first the kill over plated leather. It has a body armor rating of 54, leg armor of 8, arm armor of 8 as well. And in Rotai, Legionary Mail, it has a body armor rating of 50, leg armor of 12, and arm armor of 12 as well. I would consider this slightly better than the, the kill over plated leather a little bit, but I would say you can buy either of them and they both will work very well. So for the best shoulder piece, I found this in Sirena, Mysia, and Honori. It is around uh, the northern side of the Imperial regions. It is called the Imperial Lamella Shoulders. Um, it has a body armor of 20 and arm armor of 10. For the best hand armor piece I could find in the game, I found it in OC's Hall. Um, this one was really strange. I couldn't find it anywhere else like at all. I could only find it in OC's Hall. Um, I'm gonna assume it is a Vlandian special product. That only Vlandians produce. It is called the Reinforced Male Mitten. Um, it might be in other regions within the Vlandian faction as well, but I found this in OC's Hall. So it, it has an arm armor of 38 and it costs around 250,000 dinars. Next, for the best food armor I found is I found it at Sirone, Otizia, and Rotai. It is called the Lamella Plate Boots. It has a leg armor of 32 and it costs around 57,000 dinars. Next, for the best horse armor in the game, I found this in Amatatis. Um, it is in the 1000 Days save file. I think this, uh, this armor piece is really rare. It's called the Mail and Plate Barding. Uh, it has horse armor of 63, which is quite a lot. Um, but I, I had a really hard time finding this. I, I couldn't find it anywhere else except from this one single region. But I'm sure it will start spawning or start being produced in other Imperial regions as well. But for the most part, you can find the Highland Scaled Harness pretty consistently. I, can, I found this in my other save which is around 500 days played. I found this in a lot of places. So I found the, the second best horse armor in, uh, in a lot of places actually. Uh, mostly in the Imperial region and the... Vlandian region as well. So I'm at Otizia. Uh, you can find this, the second best horse armor as well, right here. It's called the Highland Scaled Harness again. It is pretty close to the best horse armor there is. Uh, once you buy this upgrade, you don't really need to go for the next, next upgrade, which is, which doesn't show up until around 1,000 days. But this particular horse armor shows up quite early on as well. So this is probably something you should look for instead of the the better horse armor, which only grants you extra six armor rating which isn't that much. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. 
Um, there's going to be a lot of inconsistencies in whether you find these items or not. But I, I recommend you to just be a little bit more patient and if it doesn't show up in that particular city, go to the other ones that is also recommended. Um, and be more patient, just wait a few weeks, then the item will show up eventually. At least in my own experience, the items have showed up again. Um, and also some items will not show up until a certain amount of days in the game has passed because yeah, you wouldn't want to have like a really overpowered bow like at day one of the game. So, which kind of makes sense, but um, if you found anything better than what I've shown in the video already, please leave a comment down below to help others as well. I do appreciate that because I probably will make some mistakes here and there as well. Um, so, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave a thumbs up if it did and subscribe for more Battle Lost content. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.